right, so another example here of writing a decimal, negative 4.145. We're going to write that as a mixed number in simplest or the most reduced form. So this one will be a little bit more obnoxious just simply because there are more digits after the decimal place. Nothing worse than that. Okay, same idea. Let's get rid of the old decimal uh, sign. So it looks like we'd have to move it three times, so I'm going to multiply by 1,000 over 1,000. Alrighty, let's see. So that's going to leave us with negative 4145, negative 4,145 in the numerator over 1,000. Well, let's see. So again, lots of different ways that we could go about doing this. Um, in my other example, I reduced first. Here I think I'm going to go ahead and make it into a mixed number. And the reason why I'm going to do that, well, I'll show you. I mean, we could immediately, I know that 5 goes into the top and the bottom. I could start dividing by 5. Again, there could be some factor larger than 5 that works. But I know for sure 5 works, and that can help me make the numbers smaller. Another way I'm recognizing to kind of make, you know, the fraction sort of smaller, well, again, I know we have a negative over a positive, so it's a negative. A 1,000 would go into 4145 exactly four times without going over. And, well, we would have 145 over a 1,000 left. So as a mixed number, we can write this fraction as negative 4 and 145 over a 1,000. Well, again, I know that this fraction reduces 145 over 1,000, but again, it's easier to me to reduce. It's easier to me to reduce than this original thing. So, again, kind of you know play with it. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you simplify. Eventually, you'll get the same answer. So, kind of off to the side, I'm just going to reduce 145 over 1,000. Again, I know that 5 will go into both of these numbers. So let's see, 5 times 2 is 10, again times 20 would be 100, times 200 will give us 1,000 in the denominator. Let's see, 5 times 30 would be 150, but that's kind of one multiple too big. So instead of 30, we'll need one smaller, which I think would be 29. All right, so again, we can just cancel out our 5s. Uh, so 145 over 1,000, we can write that as 29 over 200. Again, now you could maybe think about factors. Uh, let's see, anything in common that will reduce? Well, 29 is a prime number, so again, this will be a reduced fraction. Uh, so we can write uh, our, our final mixed number as negative 4 and 29 over 200.